In case you're wondering, 20 foot plus is not a contest. It's a home for the surfers who ride these amazing waves and a new way to tell their stories. They'd be charging anyway. 20 foot plus lets us take you along for the ride. Every April, the surfing world's eyes turn toward the beautiful island of Tahiti and its crown jewel, Chopu. On a perfect day, in a big southwest swell, it's a vision unlike anything else in surfing. But this is a small island in a big ocean, and it's always on a knife edge between glory and disaster. Life in Chopu is pretty mellow. Even when you're sitting in the lineup, it feels like the whole world slowed way down. Until. That's why surfers will drop anything to travel from the other side of the world just to be here on a great day. The Southwest Pacific is flaring with a solid south southwest swell inbound to Tahiti this weekend. Ah, Tahiti, four days, weekend swell, should be fun. But warm up time for the visitors is crucial. Right now it's Friday and the forecast says Sunday is the day. If you want to wave on Sunday, you need to ride some now. I got lucky, got a few back to back, somehow in the in the hungry crowd. But just waiting now for this water to pick up, we're gonna try to get back out there for day two. I didn't even have a plan to begin with for Sunday. I know there's a lot of a lot of people trying to get out there, so I'm just hoping that I luck into maybe one wave. We'll see how it goes. I don't have any plans yet. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got. Uh, some wind picking up, not a bad direction wind at all, looks like it is offshore and, and pretty clean on the camera right now. Uh, probably like east, southeast, southeast, something like that. And uh, surf is pretty solid, but nothing big yet. Um, that's mostly what we're expecting to. Um, it looks like this swell is going to be picking up late this afternoon, this evening, but really coming on overnight. Day two, the village awakes to a surprise. An orange alert for dangerous surf is now in effect. I'm not too sure what the game plan is at the moment. So yeah, just trying to walk around and find some answers, see how strict they're gonna be. Fresh off the plane from Ireland, so a bit of a long journey, but hopefully we're allowed to surf tomorrow and it's all worthwhile. Tourist boats are blocked from leaving the harbour. Police are on patrol. But as it turns out, skilled surfers are allowed to do their thing. And late in the afternoon, while the rest of the island relaxes, the swell begins to show. How do you sleep the night before Big Chopu? Answer is, you don't. You wait for dawn, and you listen to the reef. It looks massive. Oh, gosh, you can hear it breaking. It's like thunder, and that's lightning. Just how can the reef take such punishment? The sound of breaking surf can trick you. This time, it's telling the truth. Oh, it's actually insane. For how far away it is, it's unbelievable how gigantic the barrel is. It's for real. Tosai swell this morning, slowly tapering off this afternoon. Should see good to great conditions for the most part. East to northeast wind, light in the morning, that's straight offshore, may swirl around a little bit. Looks like great conditions throughout the day.
Scott, what's up today? Perfect day. At your bola. It's on. It's not the biggest swell in Chapu history, but every now and then she throws a bomb. And the decision's a knife edge. Oh my god! Kevin Burak! The swell direction is ultra south and it opens up the spot. Toe surfers and paddlers can share the lineup. It's a rare occasion. And sometimes a paddler is pretty happy there's a ski around. Okay guys, again and again at the end of the road, here we are, look at Tumbo on the paddle one, paddle one, but behind there's something huge guys, there is something huge behind it, oh yeah! Came all the way from Brazil, three connections, cancelled my last connection to Tahiti, and then I made it, I'm here super stoked, so proud to get this day and put one more day on the books of Tahiti. The best part is when you get comfortable enough with the routine that you can start experimenting a little bit. Whether it's doing airs at the end, in the beginning, that's the most fun for me is trying to kind of use that wave as a canvas and um, kind of paint my own line. That was really fun. It was a, a phenomenal day and uh, I'll remember this one for a long time. Other barriers are being broken today. Summer Longbottom and her legend dad Dylan make a great team. Oh my god! Oh. I'm really happy. So it's such a sick way. And I'm just stuck to get a couple. Annie Dos Santos draws an even harder line. Yeah, I actually had been out there all morning since 6 a.m. and it was around midday. Hadn't caught anything on the paddle and then I got one and when I got back out he just was like, do you want to go and tow? And I was just frothing. I'd seen Summer on some bombs earlier and then she got me so inspired to tow and it was epic to have girls out there pushing each other and to be able to get in a barrel and come out and have like the channel and just a bunch of friends and share that moment with everyone. It's really cool. But in the next 24 hours, Mother Nature turns the tables. Overnight, a flash flood smashes through Chopu village. A perfect day is followed by disaster. The knife's edge has never seemed more real. The village now needs all the help it can get. But with everyone's help, it will recover. And there will be another perfect day.